With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? A frame of reference that is accelerated with respect to an inertial frame of reference uh, is called a non-inertial frame of reference. Okay, so any accelerating frame is known as non-inertial frame of reference. Now coordinate a uh, system uh, fixed on a circular rotating uh, a circular disc rotating about a fixed axis with constant angular velocity is an example of non-inertial frame of reference because there would be acceleration that would be even though the velocity is constant but there would be acceleration it would be the centripetal acceleration now the relationship between the force uh, f rotational experienced by a particle on the uh, of mass m moving on the disc and the force experienced by a particle in an inertial frame of reference basically these are related with the relation f rotational equals to force experience in the inertial frame of reference plus these factors so they are uh, encounter they are written so these extra terms are written to uh, change the uh, force in the inertial to the rotational frame of reference okay so it is 2m v cross omega and then uh, m uh, uh, omega cross r cross omega okay so these are uh, uh, this uh, tangential and uh, centripetal acceleration so these are the this is the centripetal acceleration v rotational is the and this is the velocity basically if uh, there is an uh, if the uh, of the particle is sliding with respect to the uh, with respect to the axis okay v rotational is the velocity of a particle in the rotational frame of reference and r is the position vector of the particle with respect to the center of the disc now consider a smooth slot uh, along a disc uh, sorry along a diameter for a disc of radius r rotating counter clockwise with respect to the with constant angular uh, velocity omega about vertical axis through its center so for example we are just having a disc in which which is rotating at a constant angular velocity omega in the counter clockwise direction okay now uh, here it is given that we assign a coordinate system with the origin at the center of the disc the x axis along the slot y axis perpendicular to the slot z axis along the rotation rotation is along the k direction okay now a small uh, a small block of mass m is placed gently at uh, a radius location r by 2 okay at t equals to 0 and is constrained to move only along the slot so it is constrained to move so we have put a particle here and the particle is constrained to move only along this okay it can only move along the slot okay so we need to time uh, we need to find the distance of the block at time t okay now for example here if the particle is constrained to move only along this slot so there would be a centripetal force okay there would be a centripetal force and the net force would be towards the center which would be equals to the centripetal force so we can say that uh, net force would be so we are just assuming the block to be smooth so therefore there is no friction and the uh, these uh, normal reaction force encountered would be uh, uh, from this surface and from this surface they would be cancelled okay and the weight would be balanced by the normal reaction force in the upward direction okay this would be balanced by the mg now the sideways normal reaction they would be equal and opposite for example this is n1 and this is n2 so they would be equal and opposite so there would therefore only there would be centripetal acceleration so we can say that f net would be equals to m r omega square okay and the force value we know that force is equals to m into a or we can say that it is equal to force is m into a we can put this value m r omega square or acceleration we can say that with respect to uh, this uh, this m and m would be cancelled we just first cancel this m mass would be cancelled this mass and this mass and acceleration we can put the value of acceleration as v dv by dr okay this is equals to r omega square now we can say that v dv would be equals to v dv would be equals to r omega square dr now uh, we have put the particle at radial location r by 2 and at some distance its uh, distance is r now initially the velocity would be 0 and at r distance let's say velocity is v so if we integrate this so what would be this factor we are just writing here so this factor would be v square by 2 and this factor omega square would be common and the integration of r would be r square by 2 so if you put the limit so it would be r square minus r square by 4 okay now what would be the so here also there would be 2 because it is r square by 2 integration would be r square by 2 so this would be cancelled 2 would be cancelled then it would be omega then in the square root r square minus r square by 4 we can write it like this now since we need to find the distance that means the radial location so we can say that velocity would be dr by dt because velocity is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time okay r square by 4 this factor now just what we need to do 
we need to take r into here and we just need to integrate it. So if we take r to the denominator of the dr, so we can just write r square minus r square divided by 4 to the power 1 by 2 or we can just say that it is square root equals to omega dt. Now we can just integrate this. Okay. So at t equals to 0, what is the value of r? It is r by 2. Now at some instant of time, the radial location is r at time t. Okay. So this is basically integration. This is the integration of 1 divided by under root a x square minus a square type of integration. So the answer would be in terms of log. So what would be the final answer after putting the limit? The answer would be ln uh, uh, 2r divided by r plus. So we have just rearranged this and we have taken the LCM here itself or we can just write one more step. So it would be just 2r 2 divided by r then r plus r square minus r square by 4. Okay, it would be this. This would be equals to uh, omega into t. So integration here would be omega would be constant. So it would be just omega into t. Now what we can do, we can just take, uh, so we can just write it like this. So r plus r square minus r square by 4 in the square root. This would be equals to uh, if we take this uh, log, if so it would be e to the power omega t, okay? And then this 2 divided by r, if we send it to other side, it would be r divided by 2. Now, it is just a simple mathematical relation. So, we just need to solve this equation. So, it is this square root. We can write it r by 2 e to the power omega t minus small r. Now, what we need to do? We just need to square this both the side. Now, if we square this both the side, okay? We need to just square this both the side. Okay, so uh, then r square term would be cancelled and we can get the value of r. So r value, the, finally the r value would turn out to be, or we can just take one further more step just to illustrate this. It would be equals to r square divided by 4, then it would be e to the power 2 omega t plus r square minus, uh, this would be r e to the power omega t uh, into r because it is 2 times a into b. Now if we solve this, Finally, r value would turn out to be the radial location would turn out to be r divided by 4 e to the power omega t plus e to the power minus omega t. So this would be the value of the radial location. Now, uh, this is the answer. So which option would be the correct option? This is our answer to this radial location. Okay, if we check for the options, so uh, the option, the correct option would be e, r by 4 e to the power omega t plus e to the power minus omega t. C is the correct option. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.